Did you know you can adjust certain settings within your Black Tips firmware to better suit the way you dive? Hi, I'm Jake from Dive Extras, and if that sounds like your cup of tea, then we've got all the instructions you need to do just that right here. Stick around to find out how. The Black Tips firmware is accessed via an open source software known as VESC Tool. You can find this software at vesc-project.com or by following the link in the YouTube description below this video. We recommend purchasing the silver tier option to help support the software and its future development, although this is not required. Note that this software is compatible with Microsoft Windows PCs only. A Windows emulator may run the program on Apple iOS computers, but results may not be consistent across all users. Now that you've gotten the VESC tool downloaded, make sure you have access to your firmware's corresponding black tip pocket guide as well. This can be found on our customer support site using the second link in the video description. Remember to make sure the version of Pocket Guide you download is the same as the version of firmware installed on your scooter. To check this, simply look for the software version printed below your serial number. If you've upgraded your scooter's firmware since you bought it, then download your new firmware's Pocket Guide instead of what is printed on your original serial number label. Now we get to the fun part. First, open the VESC Tool program. You may see a pop-up warning from your computer, which you can safely dismiss by selecting More Info, then clicking Run Anyway. Now that we've gotten the VESC tool up and running, insert your Blacktip's batteries and connect the scooter to your computer. Depending on which generation of Blacktip you own, this can be done either of two ways. For Blacktips with the serial number prefix 001, it's as simple as using the short USB cable built into the tail unit. A USB extension cable will be helpful for this step. For Blacktips with serial numbers beginning with 002, you will need to access the micro USB port located inside the tail unit before you can connect your Blacktip to your computer. To access this port, you will need to remove the tailplate covering the electronics using a T25 security bit. Be careful not to damage the VESC chip or electrical wires attached to the plate. Once the small USB port is accessible, simply remove the rubber protective cover and plug a micro USB to USB cable into the scooter on one end and into your computer on the other. Next, click the connect button in the top right corner of your VESC tool window to connect to your black tip. Another pop-up warning may appear at this point, but you can safely ignore this. When a connection has been established, you should see a confirmation text appear in the bottom right corner. Next, open up the black tip pocket guide you downloaded earlier in this process. This handy chart lists all the settings that directly affect your black tips functionality and what each setting does. The white highlighted settings are factory set by us and should be left alone, while the orange settings can be adjusted to suit your preferences. Use this guide as a reference when changing your settings inside the VESC tool software. Now that we're all set up, Let's get into the fun stuff. To access the user customizable settings, click the VESC DevTools tab on the left hand side, then type dollar sign dollar sign into the text field along the bottom and press the enter key. You should see the title DiveX settings appear above a list of command codes and names. This shows the settings that are user configurable and what their current values are. In this example, I'll show you how to turn off safe start. That's the setting which causes your prop to rotate slowly for a few seconds before engaging gear three. First, we'll find the Use Safety line in the Pocket Guide, then find its corresponding command code. For this particular setting, it's a dollar sign followed by a capital U. Now in the VESC tool, we see that the value is set to 1 currently. To change it, simply enter its command code followed by a new value number. In this case, we'll set it to 0. Hit the Enter key to submit the code. A change value confirmation should appear. This means the input was accepted and you've successfully changed the setting. Make sure to double check your work by activating the scooter after submitting the change. You may need to turn the scooter on more than once before seeing the new changes take effect. In this next example, I'll show you how to disable the speed migrate function that slowly returns your black tip speed to gear three after sitting idle for a while. This one is a little different from how we disabled safe start in the first example, because instead of a simple on or off switch, the speed migrate has a timer telling it how long to wait before dropping your scooter down by one gear after you let off the trigger. This setting is called Migrate Rate in the Pocket Guide, and its current value is set to 5,000 milliseconds, which equals 5 seconds of delay. To effectively disable this setting, let's make this timer wait insanely long before dropping a single gear. We'll just change its dollar sign lowercase m command code to 1 million milliseconds. After that, hit the Enter key and apply your changes. You should now be able to leave your black tip idle for almost 17 minutes between trigger times, without any decrease in speed when re-engaging the trigger. 
For the rest of the user adjustable settings, feel free to tweak them as you see fit. And don't worry if you aren't happy with your changes and want to start fresh. Just input dollar sign, number sign to reset everything back to their factory defaults. Once you're all finished, simply click the disconnect button in the top right corner, unplug the USB cable, and reassemble your black tip. That's everything you need to know to get started with customizing your black tips firmware settings. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more helpful tips or product updates, feel free to subscribe to Dive Extras on YouTube. I'm Jake, and I'll see you in the next video. From all of us at Dive Extras, happy diving.